Good afternoon, everybody, and welcome to DIY Crafts. Happy holidays to all of you. So today we have a very special holiday treat um, for you to either share or for you to totally indulge in all by yourself. So as promised, if you follow our webpage or our Facebook group, or if you follow us one way or another, I have promised to show you guys how to make some delicious mug cakes. And I've even recruited many of my coworkers to help in this venture. That way I'm not try trying all these mug cakes and gaining oodles of pounds. So I'm going to show you guys how to make this. It is basically a ready to go mug cake. So you can give this as a gift, or like I said, you can totally create this for yourself. And I'm going to show you guys how to make this look all pretty and give it as a gift. And I'm also going to show you guys how to make it just for yourself because why not? Um, mug cakes are perfect for that dessert snack that you don't want to make a giant tray of brownies or cookies. Or if it's just you that's eating them, you definitely don't want to make a whole batch of cookies because 36 cookies is a lot to eat by yourself. Um, so what this is, is it is a ready to give cake. And basically, it is all the dry ingredients are in the mug, things that aren't going to go bad if they just sit in this bag in this mug for a couple of days, a couple of weeks, even maybe a couple of months, um, because it's just dry ingredients. And then curled up in this really cute little um, piece of paper, much like this, which I'll show you guys, is the direction. So basically, I have attached this to the... Um, the notes in the side here. You guys can take a look at this all yourselves. I've attached the cinnamon roll cake, which is what I'm gonna show you guys how to make today. And along with that is the chocolate chip cake. So the chocolate chip cake is the one I'm giving away. And the cinnamon roll mug cake is the one we're gonna try out today and you guys can see how it looks. And I'll tell you how it tastes because unfortunately we don't have taste or smell of vision quite yet maybe in the future. Um, all right, so the way this works is if you're giving this to someone, you're gonna give them the dry ingredients and then you're gonna tell them what they need. So for us, we're gonna do the dry ingredients for the cinnamon roll cake. You're gonna need a mug. You can use a standard size mug. You can use a giant mug. It's totally up to you. Um, I tend to like the giant mugs only because then there's no risk of overflow. So I'm gonna take my giant mug of my Goofy and Minnie and Miggy, and I'm gonna add my dry ingredients. So first things first, I'm gonna add a quarter cup of flour. I'm just gonna dump that right in there. And then I'm gonna add a quarter teaspoon of baking soda, a quarter teaspoon of cinnamon, and then a tablespoon of either brown sugar or coconut sugar, your choice, whichever one you like. Um, if you're going for the healthier mix, the coconut sugar is the way to go. If not brown sugar, go for the sweetness, you go for it. So I'm going to add that right in there. And that's all my dry ingredients. Um, so if I were to give this as a gift, all I'd want to do is stir this up like so. Just the dry ingredients, no big deal. You're just going to stir it up. Nice, nice. And that's all you're going to do for the gift giving part. You're going to stir the dry ingredients, roll up the recipe, and then that'll be the gift that you give. And it'll tell them what they need. But for us, we want to try it. So we're going to go the long haul here. So then what you're going to need is two tablespoons of either regular milk, skim milk, almond milk, coconut milk, whatever milk you like, you can use. It doesn't matter. So we're going to add that to the dry ingredients. And then in this little doodad, I have maple syrup. Um, I have one tablespoon of maple syrup. If you don't have maple syrup, honey would work really well. Um, and then I'm going to add a quarter teaspoon of um, vanilla extract. So that's what's in here. Go ahead and add that. And then you can either add a teaspoon of coconut oil or a teaspoon of regular butter. So we'll add that. 
just coconut oil, it's not butter. So for these mug cakes, then you're just gonna start it up. Super, super simple. They're pretty much one portion, but if you want to, I guess, I suppose you could share it with somebody. Um, and then all you're gonna do is just stir it so all the ingredients are mixed pretty thoroughly together. So you don't have any of that flour chunks or anything like that hanging on. I'm gonna mix it nice and nice. And so I'm giving you guys alternatives because there's a healthier way to eat this. If you wanna do the healthier row or route, um, you can do the coconut sugar, you can do coconut flour, coconut um, milk, <laughs> and coconut uh, oil. See the trend here? Um, I did a half and half version of healthy. I did my coconut oil, not butter. Um, I did my 2% milk and um, I didn't do the coconut sugar but I did do um, just regular brown sugar, okay? So once you have this here, feel free to totally lick your finger, lick your spoon. This is safe because there's no egg in it. Um, and then what you're gonna do, you're gonna take your mug and you're gonna put it in the microwave for 90 seconds or a minute and a half. So I'm gonna do that. And while this is cooking, I'm gonna show you guys how to wrap it and make it look pretty and presentable for a guest, okay? So put this in the microwave for 90 seconds. If you are at all concerned that your um, your dessert might overflow, feel free to put a plate underneath it or a paper towel. Totally okay. Either way, whichever you want to do it. Mm. I will tell you, super delicious. All right. Okay. So if you want to make this even more delicious, you guys can get super crazy. And what you can do is you can take a little bit of powdered sugar and a teaspoon or so of water or milk, mix it together and make an icing and put that on top of your mug cake. I'm trying to be somewhat healthy here, so I'm not gonna do that. But right here, I have the mug cake we just created. That's in the microwave right now. This is all the dry ingredients. So you'll see all the dry ingredients are in there. And I'm gonna leave it just like this. And then I have here, um, shrink wrap plastic. It's really, really big. Well, that's okay. So we're going to squish it. So I'm going to take the shrink wrap plastic. I'm going to go ahead and put my mug right in the center. And instead of using the shrink, uh, heating it up to drink it, I'm just going to squish it all together. Like this. Okay. I'm going to grab some ribbon, make it look pretty. So I have, um, Black ribbon and green ribbon. This is going to a boy, so we're gonna might as well make it manly, right? I'm gonna take my black ribbon and my green ribbon. Probably quite a bit of it. Maybe like a foot, foot and a half, 18 inches if you want to get specific. Put it together. And then I'm gonna put this one time. Sorry for the noise, guys. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna tie my ribbon nice and tight. And this is just creating that decorative, gift-giving look. Pull the ribbon out. Tie it nice and tight, just like this. And then feel free to go ahead and make your little loop. So you guys can be fancy and go back and take a look at the um, the bows that we made last week. And you can put one of those fancy bows on here if you so desire. I am not going to do that. I'm just going to tie it once like this. I'm going to take my recipe. And my recipe here says what you have, which is all the dry ingredients, what you need, and then the instructions for cooking. And it basically just says, add what you have. Um, sorry, <laughs> take what you have and add these wet ingredients and mix them all together and put it in the microwave for 90 seconds. Um, the caveat here is every microwave cooks a little bit different. So my 90 seconds might be your minute. My 90 seconds might be your two minutes. So if you open up your microwave and you notice that it's still really liquidy, you might want to microwave it a little bit longer. Um, but I did cook it on high for 90 seconds and I will show you guys what it looks like in a minute. 
So when I roll these up, I like to roll it so you can still see the title. So cinnamon roll cake. And then all I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take this and I'm gonna tie it with my ribbon. I'm just gonna do a single knot. Just like that. And then I'm gonna turn it so you can see that it says cinnamon roll cake. And then from here, I'm gonna tie it like I tie my shoe. I'm gonna do a bow, loop, swoop, and pull. Right, isn't that how you teach kids nowadays? Loop, swoop, pull. When you can actually see what you're loop, swooping, and pulling. Alrighty. Need just a second. Let me try this again, maybe a little closer so I can see it. All right, so loop, loop around, and pull. And pull it pretty tight, so you don't want to go anywhere. And then there you go. So you guys can leave this the way it is. You can turn it if you want to. But that's pretty much it. This is your mug cake gift with your instructions on how to make the mug cake. These two really cute ones, right? Okay. So leave those there so you guys can see them. And let's go check out our mug cake and see how it came out. So my mug cake very much looks like a cinnamon roll or a muffin in a, <laughs> in a mug. And then when I take it out, it is completely cake-like and steaming and hot and delicious. And like I said, if you want to get super fancy, you can add a little bit of icing to this. Um, that is totally up to you. It's your choice here. But let's see. Mmm. Mm-hmm. Very, very good. I can actually almost see this. If you add some diced apples, this could be a really good cinnamon apple cake. Mm-hmm. Or, oh my God, that's so good. <laughs> or what you could probably do, I haven't experimented with this, but I bet you you could do it. Take the milk and replace it with apple cider. And I bet you it would taste like a delicious apple cider cake. So there's so many possibilities with these mug cakes. They're super easy. Minute and a half, 90 minutes in the microwave. Um, most often it's just, a handful of dry ingredients and maybe one or two wet ingredients such as milk or butter. Um, in the notes or the description of today's program, I have added the um, two recipes that I created, the cinnamon roll cake and the chocolate cake, <laughs> chocolate chip cake, which are these two right here. And then it gives you the gift giving version. It tells you what's in the mug already what you need, and then how long to um, cook it, as well as how to make it. Basically mixing the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients, putting in the microwave for 90 seconds, and ta-da, you're done. I've also added several different links to um, additional mug cakes that my fellow coworkers have created and loved. Um, they don't have the breakdown of the gift giving part, but if you decide that you really enjoy those and you wanna give them as gifts, just put together the dry ingredients in the mug and write up this is what you have and tell them what they need. And then that's pretty much it. You've just created super simple, super easy gifts for family and friends and it costs next to nothing because odds are it's ingredients that you already have in your house, especially if you're a baker. So happy holidays all and I will see you guys all next week for more crafting. Until then, I'll see y'all next week.